Hello, everybody. It's me, Michael. It's Night Two from the Ultimate Game Brothers. Welcome to episode nine of Sprint Mode in F1 2013. As you can see, I am today in the Marussia Virgin. I am just moving my microphone. But yeah, today I'm in the Marussia Virgin, and we are driving around at the beautiful Canadian Grand Prix. I saw a little bit of a loading screen. Loading screen. Still a load of screen. Oh no, 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 we're kicking in. Okay, as you can see. So, on this lobby, I have my friend from Scotland, Mr. Jiggy, or JGX. Ahead of me, we have Train Robin at 937. And behind me, we indicated him, we have Joy Boy 1985, who's the oldest. And the old fogey. Poor guy. Um, anyway, we're off. Anyway, no, we're not yet. But we go off now. As you can see, get a decent start off the grid. No wheel spin whatsoever. Coming down right hand side of B mod. He knocks me out wide. I'm going to have to go on the grass a little bit. Coming up to the first corner. Jiggy takes out Tucker with B mod. Oh, Joe Boy. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's one corner. Oh, it's carnage. It's carnage. I go through that somehow. And I'm somehow in sixth position because of that. I'm right behind the Scotsman. Coming into the next corner. As you can see, oh, I completely screwed that corner up. I didn't mean that. Anyway. Lost a bit of my front wing, but I'm still going to go. Here we go into this left hand. I get hit up the ass. End up going very, very wide and off track. I'm going to have to cut the corner a little bit. Get hit again, but the guy spins. Got trained Robin right behind me in the Red Bull. All I'm going to do is just keep going. Just got to keep it going. Coming up to the nice chicane. Cut that a little bit bad. Trying to still get used to this game and handling and the corner breakings and all that. Because I've realized that it seems to me when you break as well, Especially in these tight corners and you're turning, you do get a bit of vibration if you've got vibrations on. Uh, I think if you have a setup though, it doesn't happen as bad. So anyway, got a hell of a run on Train Robin here down the straight line speed. I've got the best straight line speed here coming up to the beautiful Wall of Champions. As you can see, I'm going to break now. Trying to take as much speed as it as can. Get a bit of a corner cut warning. That's my own fault. But still, I've caught a bit of speed up anyway. Mid fifth position right now. Thank you, Engineer. So, Train Robin has a time penalty. Probably for that first, first corner incident. Anyway, continuing. Hopefully, we try and chase down Jiggy. If we can, we'll do it. If we can't, then we're screwed. And this is going to be a boring first race. But anyway, I, there's, by the way, there is three races in this. There is Canada. I believe the next one is... I forgot. Crap. I know the last one's Brands Hatch. That's definite. Um, anyway, we're coming up to this. Another kind of got it a bit better, but the exit's kind of a bit ruined. Train Robin's still behind me. He can't do anything about that, though. He actually can't catch up. Joy Boy and Jiggy having a big fight into the tapping. Oh, Jiggy makes it, and Joy Boy gives him the position. Oh, I lose a bit of the rear end there, but we're going down straight. Oh, this contact ahead, I think, because there's a lot of front wing mission. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'm going to stop doing that annoying sound. So here we go down the straight. I love this track. We break now, get, oh, what's going on there? Oh, there's all cars all over the place in front of me. Anyway, get a hell of a run out here. Coming down to the start finish line, I should have the fastest, oh, 114.3, great lap by me there. Catching up to Joy right now, taking a lot of speed into this, in the first two corners. Fastest lap of the race by me there. Bloody hell, you never thought I'd see me do that. Anyway, coming up to this first chicane. Takes it perfectly, Joy Boy doesn't. He screwed up a little bit there, but we are catching up. If there was a five lap race, we would be caught up to them right by the end. Little bit out of shape into that corner. Joy Boy definitely out of shape into that corner. Lost the rear end, but I'm going to go for this anyway. Coming out next, I'm going to have to let go of the throttle a bit earlier just to let Joy Boy go through cleanly. Joy Boy completely cuts it. I'm going to go down on the left hand side, coming around the outside. Of the hairpin. Can I make it stick? That is the question. Be not squash qualified. Go a little bit wide on the exit, but let the car straighten out and get on the wheel. Look at that. Already ahead of Joy Boy. And I've surely got that because I've just got half a bar of curves left. As I'm not even using it. I think I'm using it. No, I don't even use it. I use it now at the end of the straight. Coming up to the lovely, lovely Lasher Kane as we come to cross the line. The Joy Boy tries to go and hit me. He fails and hits the wall. What a freaking retard. But there you go. That is the first race. As you can see, I finished fourth. And I was just the second fastest guy on the track. No, it wasn't. It was the third. Train Robin got a fast left to me. What a balance. Anyway, but yeah, fourth place, not bad. 
As you can see now, we skip to the Ferrari. And we are in Japan. It's the same guys, plus in the field of randoms. I do love the Ferrari, I have to be honest. The Ferrari's t can I have to be honest, is very, very nice. I think all the cars this year, for me, I enjoy wanting to drive them. I can wouldn't mind what cars are going, because they're all beautiful to drive. Coming up to the first corner, I've gone wide, because Joe went on the inside of me. But I'm going to bring it on the inside, Jackie spins. Don't know what happened now. Joe not giving me the room into the S's. I have to give him the position, but I come through the S's anyway. We're in seventh place. I'm going to try and find a way to get past Joe Boy here. I love this track on this game, by the way. This track is brilliant to drive on, I think. Coming up to the left hand, I got hit. I've got here. He's pushed me on the right hand side. Splits a bomb. The stupid German has hit me onto the wide. Onto the wide. Coming up to the first sector line. As I'm going for the dive, I give him a little tap. Oh, I've took. Oh yeah, uh, I got angry at him, so I kind of take him up. So Try to take him out. Anyway, we'll drive properly now for the rest of the race. Coming up to the happen, which is doesn't seem as bad to go through. That's just me showing the looking at the Ferrari because I think it is a beautiful car to drive. We've got Easy Rick right ahead of us. Can we do anything about it? Coming up to the spoon. Break nicely. Kind of on the inside a bit. I'm struggling. He's very slow, but I get him on the inside here. Get a way a better exit. And I'm ahead. Seventh place. We're going to go down to 180R now. Hopefully, we will have the speed. Reaching 185, 187, 100, yeah, 187 miles per hour down the straight. Break cleanly. Hit the chicane. This chicane still challenges chicane, which it always should be. Oh, the Ferrari there. I don't know who's in the Ferrari, but he's made a mistake. Anyway, split him up. I'm just going to try and get past him. I'm going to try and do my best. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice defending. But split him up. Ah, it's ass to the Swiss driver. Glitter bomb goes well wide. I'm going to dive on the inside here. I tap him slightly, but I give him the room. This is me racing just about cleanly here. Trying to find a way past him. Struggling to get away past him. But I'm he goes very unstable there. Can I get past him? No, I decided to let him go through again. Going to get him onto the run up here, I think. Still going, still going. Right, coming up to this right hand and that double right hand now. I go faster to this one. And I'm going to dive my car right on the inside. I get my car onto the inside. He goes wide. He ends up spinning into the gravel. But that was a clean move. That was a... I think Chagui would be proud of that move. Because he's retired from the race. But they were so shit. Anyway, Joy Boy. We've got four, five cars. Slow here. I've got so much pace on this track, it seems. Coming up to Spoon again. Joy Boy can't find a way through. Joy Boy not, you know... Trying to find a way through here. Some guy's gone really wide. I've got a hell of a traction coming out of that corner. The reflection on Joy Boy's car is distracting me a little bit. That is very distracting, actually, with the moon mirrors. But I'm going to try and get out of it. It's coming to 180 r We're all going in as flat out. We all do it flat out. Brilliant driving there. Joy Boy goes on to the inside move. Brilliant move by Joy Boy. I'm going to try and go on the inside move. Don't work. I'll let him through. Go for the outside move. Oh, I'm going for it on the outside. Go around the outside in this last corner. Coming to cross the line. Do I get it? Do I get it? Do I get it? Can I, do I have to strike that speed? That's the question. Yes, I do is the answer. Fifth place here at the moment. Joy Boy and me moving up the grid. Coming up to this first corner, which I find brilliant. Joy Boy, oh, he clips the wing and he spins. That's such a shame. Joy Boy was doing so well. Credit to the guy. But anyway, I'm going to chase down third place. Ask Hunter is right there in my grasps. I will hunt him down because I love this S curve. Here we go. Ask Hunter is close up to someone. I'm going to try and launch it up my car in again. Try and take as much speed as I can. I do it with pretty much good intent. Coming up to that hairpin. Ask Hunter is going to try and make a move here around the outside. Doesn't succeed to pass the Red Bull. I think that's Trade Robin if I'm right. But anyway, no, actually, Trade Robin's way ahead, I think. As you can see here, coming up to Spoon now, I'm very fast, I feel. I think, again, if there was a couple of laps, I would be up there, but I had to dice my way through some incidents. Being a strong race for me, I think. Coming down up to 180, oh, there you are, Ferrari, Ferrari and the Red Bull right ahead of me. Use all the cares now to this point. Gonna go flat out into 180, which is brilliant to do. Oh, it's just so easy to do it now in this game. Coming through. 
Set for the left hand there. Bit of a war corner corner warning. That was my own fault. As you see, Nibbles wins the race. So that was train robbing the head if I was right. And I get fourth place. Fantastic driving. I was the fastest guy on the track as well. That's really nice to have. Anyway, yes, as you can see here, we've skipped into Brands Hatch. This time I am driving with Andy Perrin and I think it's only him. It's him out of the guys that I race with. Um, basically, I missed the first lap because basically it was hard. But anyway, coming up to Brands Hatch here, coming to the left hand, watch this for a move. I am proud of this move. Gets so much better traction right up to him, right around the outside. Static Philo had no chance whatsoever. Perrin tried to go on the inside, couldn't do anything about it. But this is a brilliant track to drive on with the modern cars. It's so fast, it's ridiculous. Literally, you'll see the lap times that we do. It's pretty much bordering on the line of one minute. I think if I had a setup, I think a 50 less than a minute would be so possible. Anyway, as I say, yeah, sorry about missing the start. My capture card was kind of having moments, and as soon as I recorded it, it only caught after the first corner. Didn't miss much. I made it into the same position I was in. So did everyone else. But anyway, this is pretty much the runaway race here. I was going to hold back, but I thought, no, I want to try. Let's see how far I can push this car. Actually, I'm in the McLaren this time as well. And the McLaren, again, is a lovely car to drive. A bit of wheel spin coming on the exit there. But this track is fantastic to do. It's about, if you know what percent it's about 70 up. Uh, 70. Five lap race if I'm right. But as you can see anyway. It's a very fast second. You're hardly breaking apart from the first sector. You can go that far flat out, which I will do probably the next lap. Bring the car in. Let go of the throttle a little bit. Bring it on again. Coming down to the hill. Coming up the hill. Then it's a little bit of a break in the lift off. Turn right. Another break in the lift off, I feel here. Turn left. It's just so fast. It's brilliant. I missed just Fast, fast, fast. One minute and one second there by me. Andy Perrin, 1.3 seconds behind me. Spitfire Ty is in the lobby as well with fourth place. But as you can see, me and Andy Perrin running away with this race, literally blitzing the rest of the field. I say this track is just brilliant to drive. Anyway, we're coming up to the left hander. Bit of a tighter break, and then this is pretty much where the hard breaking ends, really. I see I'm one tenth up on the first sector. Coming through here now, I will go pretty much flat out. Listen, bit of a lift off, but I still go back on the throttle straight away. And a lift off, throttle. Bit of a break, lose down two gears, then move up forward. Oh, is that what? It might be one gear, I didn't see properly. Anyway, here we are coming up to the exit. I'm six times up on the second sector. Then this last sector is literally just the corner. Right around it. Bit bumpy on the exit there. But still, comes across the line with a one minute and eight tenths? Seven tenths. There you go. So that was Sprint Mode Episode 9. Thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you very soon.